salutations to those who are young and young at heart. Oremi, Madame Fo. Enyi, salam alaikum. Hola, buena gente. Bonjour, la gente. Linja, Dumelang. Murigaboto. Muliwanj. Murigaboto. Makadin. Karibu. Makaitawani. Makaitawani. Munotambere. Welcome to Black USDA online platform. This is a place where your soul will find rest. Did you know every Wednesday and Friday at 6.15 p.m. we have consistent midweek prayers. Not only that, during the day from Monday to Friday, if you need a soulful song, please tune into our platform and indeed you'll find rest for your soul. On Sabbath, which is Saturday, we have services from 8.30 right up to 6 p.m. What do you expect to find? We have got the church at study, Sabbath school, music, it's story, story time. Even our little ones, the children, will find solace on Blafu online worship platforms. Yes, not only are they going to receive a powerful sermon for them, but including the songs, and they'll sing the songs of Zion in the comfort of your home. Yes, you are waiting for the power hour as we receive the beautiful words, the wonderful words that come from the word of God. In the afternoon, we have got powerful discussions, not only for the young, but even for the old, as we prepare this journey on this planet and before the sundown yes there is a sermon that will usher you into the new week as you listen to god speak to you what are you waiting for tell your friends about it don't forget to join us on youtube and facebook like our page and subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you as we meet on bluff you online worship class Greetings, beloved of my father. A professional is well known by their tools. Well, I'm in the kitchen pulpit, and our pastor today, as in often times, is Chef Tino, our international cuisine pastor. And today we are going Japanese, and I love the tools of the trade. Yes. Wow, as we continue to learn more and more about how we can preach, this time not with Bibles. Uh, hymn books and um, any other sort of things. We are preaching with pots, pans, and ingredients. So, Chef Tino, tell us what are we making today? So, today we are going to make Japanese sushi, uh, Japanese sushi roll. Wow, and yes. it's going to be a vegetarian Japanese sushi roll because yes. we are going all organic on the kitchen uh, pulpit. So, take us through, uh, tell us uh, the ingredients we're going to use. I'm just loving the, the oh, chopsticks yes. and I, I hope I don't I don't <laughs> abuse them by the way I'm holding them. But anyway, right. take us through the uh, the ingredients of our Japanese vegetarian sushi. Alright, so our main ingredients, um, we have uh, uh, sushi rice, we have lettuce, carrots, avocado, cucumber, English cucumber, I prefer to be English cucumber. And also we are going to use dashmaki egg. Which are, which are going to use this pan to, 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 to make. Sorry, so sorry. Uh, just just give me the word dashmaki. Dashmaki. It's a it's a it's a it's a Japanese it's a Japanese egg dish, which which simply means uh, Japanese omelette. Ah, okay, yes, okay, it's okay. like a Japanese so, uh, omelette. Just, I mean, I mean, I know, I already know what we're going to do, but just for the sake of my other friends there, uh, is there a difference with just using your plain rice, or it specifically has to be? Oh yes, that actually that is very important. We only use short grains, but sticky, sticky rice. Oh, okay. Usually, if they are Chinese, if it's Chinese rice, we use short grains, but it has to be sticky rice. Sticky rice. Okay. Yes. You can you can also can... use Malawian rice. Oh, okay. If okay. It's also okay. sticky. You can also roll a sushi with Malawian rice. So, and I see on the and now I've learned that we've got micro greens and yes. macro greens. And what else is there on the on the table for us to uh, yes. prepare our our vegetarian uh, so sushi? So we are going to garnish our sushi with um, edible flowers. Um, also, we are going to use uh, micro greens. We are also going to use corn. Um, yeah. I think that's what we're going to eat. And also, we're going to use uh, uh, pickled ginger. It's also very healthy. We are also, it's also good to uh, serve with sushi, pickled ginger. 
But you can actually use it with your own ginger from, yes, from home? Yes, you okay. can. You can. Okay. okay, that's yes. fine, that's fine. Don't be confused by the color. If you just pick with ginger, it will turn pink. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. I was about to ask that, but now you've already answered my, yes. my question on why it is pink. Uh, maybe I thought it's called pink, pink cool ginger, uh, but we are so excited. So, Chef Tino, yes. now that our ingredients are here, please mm -hmm. take us through and tell us what we need to do as okay. we make our vegetarian uh, sushi. All right. So, the first thing you need to do is you have to wash the rice thrice to remove all the starch. So, may you please pass me the rice? Uh, okay. There is the short grain sticky rice, that's what you need. Yes. So this cup brings, this cup uh, makes about two rows of sushi. So it depends on um, how many rows you want to make. Uh, for today, we're going to use two cups, which means we're going to roll four rows of sushi. So, make sure the cup is full. Yes. So the cups have to be full. Yes, the cups have to be full. So this. Okay. Yes. And no, then that's, that's what we call total member involvement. Some yes. of us are just put in uh, opening and closing uh, the dishes and all. Yes. So after that, you wash the rice thrice. Yes, to make sure all the starch is removed. All right. So now we have uh, washed our rice, and then we have to soak it for thirty minutes or even more. It's okay as long as it passes 30 minutes. Okay. So after that, you put the rice in a pot. Like this. I see you don't want to leave any grain. Yes, because, because, we, we, yes, yes, yes. because we've already measured. Yes, because we don't want to affect our rows. Oh, we okay. want to come up with exactly four rows. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. okay, okay, that's fine. So, so how much water are we supposed to put in there? So, uh, the, normally when we cook rice, we put one is to two uh, cups of water. Okay. But because we have soaked this rice, we have to put one is to one. One is to one. So we've put two cups So we need of two water. cups of water. Yes. Yeah, so that you know that I was also part of the team that I was cooking, yes. I do the simple part of yes. adding the two cups of water. Yes. And then make sure you cook it at a very low heat so that it won't get burnt. Wow. Preferably, if you have a rice cooker at home, it's best if you use a rice cooker. Okay. Yes. Two. So we put our two cups of water. What's the next shift? Yes. So we will we we'll leave our rice to, you know, like the, oh, the stove, and then we we'll leave our rice to cook. So you said very low temperatures. Very what low. Are we looking at about three, four. So we can start three, by four, four okay. but we can reduce as we go. All right. Two, three, three and four. Yes. Okay, now that our rice is uh, on the stove, what is the next? Um, I see the, the greens that are here. Yes. So what are we going to do So next? now we are going to cut our vegetables um, for sushi. So the first thing we are going to cut is cucumber, English okay. cucumber. So you go like this. So you just measure, because um, our row will be about um, less than 30 centimeters, like um, say 20 centimeters. So just estimate measure of 20 centimeters, like this. And then you have cut the cucumber into half, like this. And then you cut into strips, like this. Like this. I see for many organic meals, uh, we take our vegetables with their jackets on it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm liking that. Yes. So, because we don't want our sushi to be wet, so we have to remove the seeds. And then we can put them in a, in a salad or any, any other dish. You we don't prefer. throw them away. You don't throw them okay, away. Okay, I'm yes. liking that. So, you have to remove the seeds first, like this. All right. Yes. And then, can you please pass me a bowl? Okay, there you go. So we're going to put all our, yes, our cucumber after removing the seeds. Like this. So usually on a row we put one cucumber. Okay. So as we said, we're going to make four rows. So, we so need the seeds will make them soggy. Yes, we'll make them soggy. Yes, we okay. don't want that to happen. I can so give you another bar. Yes, you can give me another bar. Okay. Okay. Put this. Yes, thank you. So I'm 
gonna put our cucumbers here yes. as we wait for. So these will put in there. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is carrot. So if you wash it uh, thoroughly, you don't have to peel it also. So make sure you have a, a very a very sharp knife. Okay. A very very sharp knife. So you cut your carrot like this. Oh, into small strips as well? Yes, into small strips. Like this. So as you join us on the kitchen pulpit, remember we don't lose anything. We use our vegetables with their jackets. I'm liking the concept so that it becomes more nutritious. So, like this, you can put this. These. So after this, you arrange them like this. You want to uh, thinly slice them. Even further? Even further, yes. Okay. Yes. So, you can, this. so what you do now, want to, as thin as possible. So go like this. So make sure your hand is like this on a cutting board, so that you won't uh, cut yourself. You, you, you won't, yeah, you won't cut yourself. And then you go like this. And make sure your knife is very sharp. I actually didn't know cooking is such a special art. Oh, you can do that fast. Yes, you can do it as fast. As Careful not to cut yourself. Because so why are you making them so thin? Yeah, because we, you know, it's good for garnishing. You know, we want to. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. If they are thin, they will come up uh, better. So if you are like me and you have your notebook, remember there's glazing and there's garnishing, and I'm excited because I now know what glazing is and I know what garnishing is. I hope one day I'll learn to cut as fast as Chef Tino. Yes. So you can store this in the power. Okay, do you need yeah. the same one or a different one? Yeah, the same one. Yes. The same one. Well, they are all vegetables, so oh, okay. it's fine. It's fine, so we can put it in our this in this. Okay. Put this. All right. And then the next thing is now we have to peel our lettuce. We don't have to cut it, but just peeling the leaves. We can also give them another power so that. This. Yeah. So yeah. So now we are peeling our lettuce, so we can give me a bowl for lettuce only. Yes, yeah. Okay. So don't break it. Just use. A leaf is a raw. Then put aside. Put aside. And also, you can also use uh, fancy lettuce also. So why do you call it fancy? Are you saying it's actually fancy? Yeah, it's you, as you can see. Okay, <laughs> it also adds color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've mastered that the more the colors, yes. the more testier it becomes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the next thing is uh, avocado. Uh, so now we have to also thinly slice our avocado. The avocado is actually one of my favorite foods. Yes, actually avocado and sushi is, you know, it's a combination. Oh. Yes. Okay. It's a very so you're good telling food. me I've been eating sushi all my life? Uh, half sushi, let's say half sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I like if you like avocados like Uncle Ivy, just give us yes. a thumbs up <laughs> and we're waiting for sushi to come our way. So you peel your avocado. You're so meticulous when you do your things. I'm I'm learning a lot of things. You know I now I'm appreciating the food that I eat at home that you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just come home and then you eat and you don't know that there's a lot of art yes. and science that is put in preparing yes. some of these, but yeah. Yes, that's very true. So after peeling your avocado, then you can slice it. 
um, I saw the the carrot, the thinly sliced. Yes. The cucumber mm. is uh, yeah. somewhere there. Are you gonna make it so thin as well for this one? Mm, not really. Okay. Thin, but you know, like this. And you must specify that the avocado has to be firm. Yes, they has to be firm. Okay. Okay. So, can I give you a plate? Avocado. Yes. Okay. There you go. So we've got our avocados, we've yes. got our um, uh, cucumber, cucumber, carrot. What yes. is next? Now we want to make uh, the dashmaki egg. The, the dashmaki, the part the, I've been waiting the for. The Japanese omelette. The Japanese omelette. I yes. think I want to, uh, well, I can just hold the pan so that I feel like I'm part yes. parcel of it. So now that the ingredients for sushi are ready, you were talking about the dashmaki egg. Yes. Uh, how do you make it? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a dashmaki egg, Japanese omelette. If, uh, those can I ask you an honest question? Even yes. if I'm not making sushi, can yes. I still make a dashmaki yes. uh, Japanese omelette? For breakfast, yes, you can let's, also, let's but not every it. day though. <laughs> not every, at least once in two weeks. <laughs> well, we'll see about yes, that. Yes, yes, So, yeah, the first thing is I'll cut my, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll break my eggs like this. And then, like this. So I'm using three eggs. Depends with the size you want. You can use more. Yes, sorry. So may, you may I please have some chopsticks? Okay, I have, I have mine. So you 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 beat your egg. Yes. Now we need to add some seasoning. That's, so, a, that's your part. Can I give you the salt? Yes, oh. I know. You can You can add a pinch. Hey. A pinch of salt. Okay. Just a little bit of salt. Yes. And so then, whilst, whilst he is uh, making the dash market, you can see that our uh, yes. rice is simmering. Yes. I think it's working out all well. Yes. Now uh, we need soy sauce, a little bit. So why are you using soy sauce? Just to flavor, you know, flavoring. seasoning. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit. Just. Well, he was careful enough not to let me put it in because <laughs> I'm liking the uh, soy sauce. I was going to put a little bit more. Yes. So some prefer it with a little bit of sugar, but we are not going to use sugar today. So now we can reduce the, the temperature to four. So now our egg is ready. So this is the pan we use to make, uh, mine is a little bit old, but that's the only one I, I have. So we use this kind of a pan. It's called a dashmaki pan. Dashmaki pan. Yes. For all those who like dashmaki, dashmaki pan. Yes. Dashmaki. For all those who like dashmaki pans, I think I'm just beginning a business of making this. So get in touch with Pulpit <laughs> Kitchen. We can make them available for you. Okay, I like so, the, the shape and the size. So yes. what do you want uh, for me to assist you? So now I need olive oil. Olive oil. Yes, olive oil. Yes, I had already poured a little, but I can add more. Okay. And then we need a, a serviette also to grease our pan. So we dip our serviette in the olive oil and then we grease our pan like this. Like this. And then now you can you can put on the the stock and is all right. We are getting ready for the dashmaki. I've put it on five. Is that okay? Yeah, five is okay. Okay, that's fine. So we're waiting for the yes, for the, for the oil yes. to. Whilst the oil is going on, I'm so excited to just take my uh, yes. sushi rice. Well, you can see even the pot is reporting that good things are happening in the pot. Now, Pastor, um, as we are now waiting for uh, the oil and. But what else now do we need to do? So now this is how you make a dashmaki uh, egg. It's a, a little bit hard, but you know, uh, the more you do it, the more it becomes easy. Okay. Yes, so you add bit by bit. Like this. And then make sure. Is it supposed to fill the whole pan? Yes, it's supposed oh, to fill okay. the whole pan. Okay. Like this. And before it's too dry, you you lift it, you turn it like this, because you want to make an omelette, mind you. Then make sure 
go like this. So that's the first, that's the first layer. Then we grease the pan again. Then we take the, the egg. Oh, it's done in layers. <laughs> yes. And then we add more. Then make sure the, the egg goes to the bottom. This. So this. How long have you been making dash mark eggs? Uh, roughly two years. So now oh. it's now easy for me to make. Oh, you flip it over. Yes, you flip it over. And then you grease again. And then. Hmm. I think I would like to learn how to make a dash mark egg. Yeah, it's a. It's, it's Trust me, when you're starting, it's very hard. But as you go, make sure you buy this pan from Japan, though. You cannot find it locally. Like this. So when are you going to stop? Um, until my egg is finished. Oh, and then the, all the layers will just be in one. Yes. All right. So one big omelet. So this is our second from last layer. So do you know how many layers it's supposed to make? No, it's not about the layers. It's about, it's the, about the size. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, the most difficult part of being part of this is now lifting. you're feeling a lot of hungry because of <laughs> you're seeing it happening, but you just have to wait until it is done. Yeah? Yes, oh. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, so now this is our final layer. So you turn it over again? Yes, you turn it over again. So now, turn it over gently and make sure you don't break the egg also. And then, wow. now this is Japanese omelette. So just show it to us so that at least we see how it goes. Now, it's actually see. looking like a So you, you like can correct the shape with the serviette. Like this. And also, when, if you want to learn how to make it, you can you can you can use this one, the already made one, to to flip it. Oh. So if you want to try. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope I don't I, I hope I don't I, I don't spoil your dish. Can I just try one no, one, one time? One it's time. Fine. Yes. Okay. I love chopsticks. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> oh, <my God>. No. <laughs> And then you flip it like yes. with this. So use the right hand. You hold your, your chopstick with the right hand. Oh, you're yeah, left handed. <laughs> so <laughs> you flip it this way or that way? Uh, that, the other way. Mm. Uh, you spoil the dish. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, watch the concept <laughs> of lifting. You have to use both chopsticks in the, in the pan. Yes, oh, in okay. the hand. So you go like this. And it, like this. Mm. You, you go like this. Foolish. Like this. Ah. So now that we that well, our yes. our Japanese omelette is ready, it's ready. Our Japanese mm, eh? Japanese dashmaki egg, dashmaki. Japanese omelette. Now that our dashmaki Japanese yes. omelette is ready, yes. our rice I think it's almost cooked, yes. and we do have the ingredient. What is next, chef? So now it's time to roll. Greetings beloved of my father, welcome back to Antinyasha's garden and this program is called Ndawo Yangu, my place Mzimbo Yangu when we are extolling and exalting the life that the creator gave us. Tiri in good health and one of the things we must obtain is sustainable gardening. Whether you are flat, whether you are renting, whether there is no space, Antinyasha has taught me quite a lot of things. Auntie, before we continue, just say hi to our viewers. 
Hello guys, how are you? Well, that's fine. Now remind me, remind me, what did we do in episode one and in episode two before we go to three? Okay, so in episode uh, one, we planted our rep and then we planted uh, beetroot. And today, what is the plant for today? We are going to be planting our tomatoes today and we're also going to be planting onions. Okay, now yeah. I think we now know the drill. We have put our black soil, which is here. We have put our chicken manure. We have already done the uh, compost. And last week you explained the difference between compost. If you don't know, you can scroll back and listen to episode two. Sakata kuchirama komba edu. And then we plant the tomato. Now, mutichita is also in the Augustanoita for what you're going to do in episode four. So, my tomatoes are anugona ire kusanga ni ni ma some challenges as noita pa kujikara so that vana no gara vazi ya kuti tomato ngada udiridzwa zvishoma zvakawanda roda pano pisa pano tonora you can tell us I think uh, it's best to grow tomatoes during um in an environment isiri kunyanyo isiri kunyanyo pisisa and isiri kunyanyo tonoresa because our tomatoes are affected with frost like especially in this time when it's cold it's winter so then we really need to wake up early and uh, put uh, and water our tomatoes and also water our plants mazuvaro wira so that they won't be affected by frost Yes, and also our tomatoes are adding vraya kawanda. They commonly do when it's uh, when the water is na kuwanda and the fruit is na kusirukunyanyo naya. Because I've seen kutijoni, they just need a conducive environment when it's not too hot. put you on the spot uh, when best do you love your tomato i love my tomatoes raw okay. especially more my salads Now, now that we've put four plants, uh, this can be a saving for a family like a kurase. Ah, uh, do not on the moriega, you know, shandiso zaga, zaga nyanyo di. But pa one plant apa no go na guto wana ma tomatoes kana kana ten. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Depending that you're keeping them well and they also flowered well. So tell me. Um, what is the expected expected time? You put it no gonna get out to turn our tomatoes and we can start putting them on our burgers and on our <laughs> salads. <laughs> I think with tomatoes, ah, they take time. We need about 85 days. 85 days mm -hmm. for us to start plucking and picking uh -huh. tighter into our container garden. Yes. Wow, there you have it. You are only 85 days away from your first uh, container a uh, tomato. So what are you waiting for? Go and do what um, Antinya is doing. And don't forget, she is here and willing to assist you to do the same. There you have it, family. This is organic stuff in Antinia's uh, garden. Wow, Tatsiza Mkatima Nasku Titinogo Nakuita Amal Tomatoes, and we are 85 days away. And I don't know why you're postponing it. Uno wono to tanga nas in 85 days. Imimi nesu tinenge tak to tana ora ma tomatoes edu kepi tanga. But Antinia, I know there are so many people who are so eager to do uh, container gardening. But now that this sustainable way of gardening, how do they get in touch with you? Because I know you are even willing to assist them. 
Yeah, my number is still the same. 0733330446. And then the other thing I wanted to explain. Uh, um, on maturity stage, you know, depend on what you seed reap. So you can actually find Kutijoni, Pane Mangwe and Nenga Chikurumbi Zakumachua, my seedlings, because of the seed, how they were, like how they are. So then it's not always when you have to have ripe things at a specific time. Thank you for joining us. And our concluding remarks are saying, God wishes above all things that you might be in good years. An organic lifestyle is the way to go. God bless you. Let's meet again next episode as we do onions. Chef, I am almost, I'm almost getting. Uh, I don't even know the feeling that I'm feeling now is the feeling that you want to feel when you've tasted sushi. Uh, okay. Please check us. What, what, what's next? Okay, so now we're now rolling the sushi. So okay. now we need to cut the the egg into strips. Don't call it an egg. The dashmaki egg. The dashmaki egg. Yes, it's got an egg. <laughs> yes. So we are now cutting our egg. So you just make sure. Please make sure. dash maki. Dash maki egg, yes. Mm -hmm. This. So remember we are making how many rows? Four. Four rows. So we want to make sure uh, we have about eight pieces because we want two, two strips per row. So like this. So you cut yes. into half. Into half. Okay. Okay. This and then the plate. Okay. And so we put our eight okay. strips. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm, smelling okay. nice. Can't wait. So now we wipe. Cutting board. Right. Yes. And then now there's one most important ingredient that we had left. Okay. Which we cannot call it sushi without seaweed. Okay. So seaweed is just uh, you know those uh, those weed that are found under under the sea. Okay. So they are just processed and then dried. All right. So so can you actually eat it like that? Yes, we can. Actually, it has got a very good flavor. Okay. Very good uh, for digestion. You know. It's very good. Okay. Let's go some very, so very, very. This you can give me four rolls so that I can just be eating them as a snake. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's all right. Yes. So, you know, take one. And then, okay. yes. So, we use a bamboo mat to roll the sushi. So, it's called a bamboo? A bamboo mat, yes. Bamboo. Okay. okay. The actual bamboo. It's made out of Chinese bamboo though. Okay. So, uh, for instance, if you get those uh, kebab sticks, they won't work? No. Because it's, a, it's like a mat, like this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Or oh, it's actually made out like a mat, okay. Yes, yes. So, you put your bamboo mat on the cutting board, then you see it on top of the bamboo mat. So it's not sushi without seaweed? It's not sushi without seaweed. So we are going to do two different rolls. Okay. One is called uh, uramaki and then one is called maki roll. So this one is called maki roll. I think I like the it's uramaki Japan. because it seems like it's got so much oh, okay. than just the maki. Okay. So you said the rice is sticky? Yes, sticky rice. Okay. Yes. So you need to dip your hands in the water and then you take a portion of rice. Then nicely lay it on top of the seaweed, like this. So the rice is sticking to the seaweed? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's true. And then you dip your hands again, and then you take the rice. So this is the easiest row to make. So make sure you leave an, an inch okay. in front. Yes. Like 
it's just on one side. Yes, just on one side. It's smelling divine. So make sure you spread evenly. The quantity is, it has to be the same or the, the size. Yes. So can you can you hear the flavor now? <laughs> you can hear. I'm almost dying because I, I just can't wait for the time we say it's time for us to partake of the sushi. I don't worry. I'm about to finish. So you spread evenly like this. Make sure you fill up all the corners. Because if you don't, we, we are supposed to make eight pieces from this. So if you don't fill the corners, you might have about seven, six. Six, okay. Yes. So you must fill it up right to the right end. to the yes. That's true. Right. So now, as you can see, we have done. So you put this, this process rolling. Yes. So this. how do you roll? Okay. Now, before we roll, we have to put the filling. Oh, okay. Yes. It's very but important. I wait for so by the way, we said. We are going to start by lettuce, so you can... The lettuce? Um, can I give you the fancy one first? Mm -hmm. You can put both. I know. I want to start with uh, this one. The green one, okay. Green one. Yes, you can go ahead, my... Yes. You know you're a pasta because we're on oh, a okay. pasta kitchen, <laughs> so you're a perfect pasta. Right. I mean, you're a kitchen pasta. <laughs> so, you lay your lettuce like this. So you also put it across the entire? Ah, no, just, just okay. for the bottom, yes. So... Do you need the fancy one? No. Okay. Yeah, I think we are okay. So the, the second thing is cucumber. So one cucumber, like this, and then avocado. And avocado, yes, you can go. You can put two okay. avocados, like this, like this, and then the last ingredient, the second from last, egg. Oh, our our dashmaki egg. I love the dashmaki egg. So if so you, 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 put you know, eggs are not really healthy, so you can also do without egg. Okay. Yes. But you know, once in a while, it's not a problem. So. You know. So you put two strips on one. Yes. Put strip. Yes. Okay. So in case you don't like egg, do you have a substitute for for it, or you just say you can just leave it? Ah, uh, we can just leave it. Okay, that's fine. Yes. And the carrot, uh, are we putting it on? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay. Now, if, now the carrot. Now the carrot is the last. Yes. Are we garnishing it as well? Yeah, that's, it's also garnishing. Oh, what we're doing is garnishing. Yeah, we are garnishing and also uh, adding the ingredients. <laughs> okay. At the same time. Last time we were using, you know, micro yes. uh, veggies. Are we going to put some? Yes, when you are plating. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, yes. that's lovely. So now, as we can see, uh, our filling is now, you know, we've put all our filling. So now it's time to roll. It's time to roll. So now, with your thumbs, you lift the bamboo mat while it's holding the filling inside your bamboo mat like this. And then, you press it. You press your ingredients inside the rice, like this. So gently press, not too hard, like this. And then you lift, just to see whether our ingredients are still it. You can okay. see. And then you roll for the last time. You know, that, that gap we have left is the one which we use for Seal. sealing. Okay. Yes, for sealing. So now, you know, that's our roll. You just want to make sure it's... Uh, it's now tight, you know, so that the, our ingredients won't. So you tighten it with your bamboo mat? Yes, with my bamboo mat, like this. Like this. Gently uh, squeeze, and then gently pull, like this. Then press down a bit. Like this. Like this. So this is maki raw, which means the seaweed is outside the, the rice. 
Oh, I think that's simple like a deal. Yes, any, any that's, time. that's very simple. But, uh, simple. Now I'm seeing that. Are you, are you done? Yes, we are done rolling. That's our sushi roll. Oh, that's the rolling. Yes. So you then cut it into smaller yes, we'll edible do, parts. Yes. Ah, okay. Now we'll do that when you are plating. So for now, it's ready like this. Mm -hmm. So one bamboo mat for one roll? Uh, one bamboo mat? No, we can use the same bamboo mat for, for oh, all, all the rolls. Ah, yes. Okay. So now we need a, a plate. Okay. So now we finish the dinner plate. And then we want to finish rolling all the other three rows, then we cut. Pasta in the kitchen puppet. Yes. You're saying this is a maki. Maki sushi. Maki sushi. And the yes. other one is called? Uramaki. Uramaki. Yes. And you're saying this is the easier one. This is the easier one. So can I follow you as you make the uh, uramaki? Yes. Uh, Sushi. Yes. You can take us to this. So uramak just means the rice will be outside this time. So can I have a power of water? Okay. Get you some anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. So now like before, let's even this spread our rice. This time we don't leave a space. Yeah. So you put it on in the entire or on yes. the entire yes. um, seaweed. seaweed. Yes. Corner to corner. Corner to corner. Okay. So that's the difference. That's the difference. Yes. And the major difference is the rice should be outside, and this, like this one, is the, the seaweed is outside. The major difference is the rice. This rice should be outside. So this one is a bit difficult, but you know, practice makes if perfect. You, yeah, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, you know, the more you be able to roll. So I see now you're putting it on all the yes. sides. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Like this. So this one, as we said, the rice should be outside. So we want to garnish it now as it is like this. So we will garnish it with sesame seeds. And um, yes, can you please pass me? There you go. So you know, black and white. Yes. So this black and white will actually be at the outside of the... Yes. Mm. A meal without seeds is not a meal indeed. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you need some more? Oh, yeah. No, okay. okay. So, using a clean wrap, using a clean wrap, you... So now we use a clean rep to uh, no, it's okay. So like this. So you put a clean rep yes. uh, before you start rolling it. Yes, you so put a clean, clean rep on top. Cover the, the bamboo as well. No, yeah, no, it doesn't have to cover the bamboo. Okay. Yeah, with the knife. With the knife. The knife. There you go. So you cut your you cut your And then now, gently, you lift your the seaweed. You gently lift the seaweed like this, and then go like this. Oh, is it the sticky part that makes it not full? Yes. Okay. That's why you use sticky rice. So now you're now doing the same process. You know, applying oh, the filling. Oh, now we're putting it on the reverse side. Yes. Ah, okay. Now let's use the fancy yes, ones. Now we can use the fancy. <laughs> we can use the fancy lettuce. Well, if you like fancy lettuce like Uncle does, mm -hmm. give us a thumbs up and put that fire emoji as we are watching Chef Tino. Uh, in this case, is a pasta because we're on the kitchen pooping. Right, eggs. I mean, uh, cucumber. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. All right. And my 
favorite. Yes, avocados. Avocado. Avocado. Yes. And then eggs. Tashmak. Tashmak, yes. Yes. And then the last ingredient. Carrots. Carrot. So now we are ready to roll. Alright. So, so you don't remove the the no. plastic? Yes. Yeah, it, it actually helps you to roll okay. neatly. So now use your thumbs as well. Use your thumbs as well. Hold in the filling. Then go like this. And then you squeeze the filling inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like this. And then now make sure you are not rolling the plastic inside. Like this. And then you finish rolling. Like this. And then squeeze it in, you know, to tighten it. Like this. Like this. Now you see? You can roll. So now we just want to tighten it a bit. So now we have our roll. Well, it's done. So are you going to cut it with the plastic or without? With the plastic. Yes, the plastic. you see that okay. later. So, so there we have it. We've got our Uramaki and Maki yes. sushi. I can't wait for the cutting, but most importantly for the partaking part of it. Yes. Well, I know you've been waiting for this time as much as I've been waiting for this time. Well, our sushi rolls are there. Now, do we just save them just as they are, uh, chef? No, we have to cut them in pieces. Remember we said we need one roll brings uh, eight pieces. You mean you're going to get eight pieces out of each roll? Each roll. Okay, yes. let's get rolling. Let's take the rolls and start rolling. Yes, so uh, now we're going to start cutting. Well, before we cut, now um, you need soy sauce, you know, for... So soy sauce. The, that's the soy, soy sauce. sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. This. Then, you know, just add soy sauce. You know, sushi is served uh, with soy sauce. You cannot eat sushi without soy sauce. Okay. That's not. So we have our soy sauce. It won't be nice. Yes. What's what's in there? Then we have the mayonnaise, but uh, not the egg mayo. We have the canola and olive oil. Uh, so this mayonnaise. is actually organic as well? Yes, it's because you're organic. using olive yes. and it's actually less cholesterol. Yes, ah. for vegans. That's, that's for, for your uh, kitchen pulpit? Yes. So now we need to start rolling. Uh, I mean, we need to start cutting. So we're going to start with this one. So we said we, we, we want um, eight pieces per each roll. So if you want, if for, for you not to make mistakes, better for you to cut it in half. First. So you start with the center? With the center. Okay. Yes. And you see the, the rice is sticky. So you need know, to have... I don't know if the viewers can see what I'm seeing here. Yes. Well, I think this camera is giving us... I just want them to see how is it... Is there? I just want to see how it looks right in the middle there. All right. So let me... You will see that. Oh, so okay. now... We just have to wait a bit. Yes, a bit. So you actually cut it into halves? Into halves. The and then into quarters. Like this. Mm -hmm. So make sure you, you have a very sharp knife. Okay. Actually, I have a, a sushi knife only, so, so that it won't be affected, you know, by any other things. So like this. Now, two pieces. Each quarter has to bring out two pieces. This. this. Mm. So that's how you cut. Now it's time to plate it. So okay, so the end ones, you leave them like that? Yes, they're okay like this. So now we have our two, four, six, eight pieces. Okay. So now we remove the... Now we remove the... The, the, the cling rib. The cling rib, okay. Yes. So there are different methods of, uh, of plating sushi. So I'm just going to try to... Yes. 
So I was asking about the, the end part of the sushi. Are you going to leave it like it is? Yes, okay. it's, okay. it's fine like this. It's okay like this. It's actually garnishing, as you can see. Oh, okay. Can be another style when yes, you plate. Yes. So now we are plating. So this is the first method. Yes, plating sushi. See? Like dominoes. Yes. Oh, okay. Now we want to show the center. Oh, I was crying so much to yes. see the center. Yes. yes. Now you can see the center. So. Like this. Make sure it's straight. And then you two. My two ends. Yes. Two ends. They are okay like this. All right. Just one on the side in. and the other one on the other. Yes. And the other one. And the other one. And the other one. Now we want to garnish our plate. Okay. So, as you can see, we have. Um, um, you, can, you can put a little bit of breadcrumbs, you know, just. Wow. Yeah, like now we're talking about color. You know, I've learned something yes. about color. Color makes the sesame. You want the sesame? Yes. All right. And then, you know, well, put the sesame. Okay. okay. And then now, you know, no, the micro, micro greens. The micro greens. All right. So we just you know, roll over, over the plate. This. You can also use this. So. This and then the edible flowers. You can place them on top like this. Can you actually plant these edible flowers in yes. the back of your Yes, yes, yes. Ah, they're actually wow. very easy to plant. Now, so sauces. Now we know that this is the final stage of our garnishing. So this is the dark soy sauce I'm okay. using. So now it's oh. I wonder how people used to do this. So well, I'm not going to pay any money to learn this. Canola, I just have to come to canola kitchen pulpit and, and olive oil. Hmm. So there we go. That's our sushi. That's the first plate of. As you can see. So, Chef Tino, our yes. sushi has been plated. Yes. Should we just go ahead and munch, or there's something else that we need to add? Are there any additives? Yes, we have to add one, two important ingredients also as a side dish. So, the first is wasabi. All right. It's a, it's a Japanese root, extremely hot, extremely hot. So, you need to be very careful when. When you uh, take it, but extremely hot. I don't even go that route. What's the second <laughs> one? So the second one is pickled ginger. I think I would go for pickled ginger. But now explain to us how yes. does it function? So the so th this is what you do. You add a little bit of water in the wasabi powder, like this. And then may I have the chopstick? All right, there you go. Yes. And then you just mix like this. So are you saying that green stuff is hot? It's extremely hot. Not oh. just hot. Extremely hot. Extremely hot. hot. I'm not even The effect is too much. <laughs> okay. Yes. So. So it's acting as a sauce? It's, yeah. We eat it with sushi. Okay. I'll show you how to eat when you're when you when about to eat. <laughs> but I'm so. not going to try it. If you say it's hot. It's very nice though. It's a, it is a good, a, a very good flavor. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the if second. You so, you can have yes, you can have this. The second is pickled ginger. Just, okay. You know, just a little bit. And then you save it. Oh, so you don't add ginger. water into the yeah, pickled ginger. It's okay like this. I'll show you when we will be eating how, how you eat sushi. So I think that's it for sushi. Wow, there you have it. That's our Japanese vegetarian sushi. I hope you will also enjoy making sushi at home. In case people would want to actually try and make sushi at home, uh, yes. how can they get a hold of uh, Chef Tino? Okay, they can get a hold of me uh, on Facebook, uh, Chef Tino Max Kitchen, or even Tino Tinda Machamiri. 
and also on Instagram Tino Max Kitchen Z W. Also on 0778-766-191. There you have it. Those are the contact details for Chef Tino, who is a pastor when you come to the kitchen pulpit. But just in case you fail to get hold of him, don't hesitate to contact us on Bluffview Online Worship Services and we will connect you with Chef Tino. And don't forget, when you have that hustle baked potato, invite me. I'll bless your food. God bless you when you meet again on this, your beautiful program, The Kitchen Pulpit, brought to you specifically by Dawayami, the one that is exalting and extolling uh, a burning lifestyle, just as our creator would have wanted us to be. God bless you. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So Salutations to those who are young and young at heart. Oremi, Madame Fo. Enyi, Salam Alaikum. Hola, Buena Gente. Bonjour, Legend. Linja, Dumelang. Murigaboto. Muliwanj. Brigaboto, Makadin, Karibu, Makaitawani, Makaitawani, Munotambere. Welcome to Black Blue SDA online platform. This is a place where your soul will find rest. Did you know every Wednesday and Friday at 6.15 p.m. we have consistent midweek prayers. Not only that, during the day from Monday to Friday, if you need a soulful song, please tune into our platform and indeed you'll find rest for your soul. On Sabbath, which is Saturday, we have services from 8.30 right up to 6 p.m. What do you expect to find? We have got the church at study, Sabbath school, music, it's story, story time. Even our little ones, the children, will find solace on Blafu online worship platforms. Yes, not only are they going to receive a powerful sermon for them, but including the songs, and they'll sing the songs of Zion in the comfort of your home. Yes, you are waiting for the power hour as we receive the beautiful words, the wonderful words that come from the word of God. In the afternoon, we have got powerful discussions, not only for the young, but even for the old, as we prepare this journey on this planet and before the sundown yes there is a sermon that will usher you into the new week as you listen to god speak to you what are you waiting for tell your friends about it don't forget to join us on youtube and facebook like our page and subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you as we meet on bluff you online worship